Okay, hey you guys, so I am back with another wig video for you guys and today I'll be showing you my five top favorite wigs from 2017. I will definitely leave individual links to each wig review but this is kind of like an update and this is part one of my five favorite wigs so I have more coming up. I just wanted to get a head start. This is around the time where you're going to start seeing um, a lot of YouTubers, especially wig reviewers, show their top favorite synthetic human hair wigs, whatever one they choose to. But um, you know that this is the time that you know we mostly do it. So I just wanted to get a head start. And of course, this is not in any type of order because I absolutely love all the wigs I'm about to show you. And number one is Bobby Boss, and this is Lina. All of the wigs I'm going to show you today, I have washed already. So this is. Um, how the wig looks after it's been washed and girl the snapback is super real so as an update on Lina, so the only thing about this wig that kind of irritated me was the fact that um, as I wore her more and more that the ends kind of like got thicker like it kind of like the texture changed it got like more um I don't know how to explain it I don't want to say matted but it was just a lot rougher than the actual texture on the top portion of the wig but after washing this wig like the snapback is so real like this looks like some healthy hair like I absolutely love this wig so much I wish I can find this wig in a 1B but it is still sold out everywhere so I forgot to mention about the shedding and tangling shedding was very light I still don't remember receiving a lot of shedding with this wig and I didn't receive any tangling just the fact that this part right here just got really puffy and um, I just didn't want to use heat and change the texture so definitely washing this wig made a huge difference so I suggest you washing this wig and you know revamping her and bringing her back to life so up next is this so one. of course you know I had to add a all blonde wig with this 2017 favorites wig review this is Florence by brown sugar collection and i absolutely love florence all the wigs i'm showing you once again have been washed already so they look fantastic but i'm just going to give you the tea on how it held up they all have been worn over five times so i've gotten my wear out of each synthetic wig that i'm going to show you and Florence is no different. I wore Florence like crazy back in like a couple of months ago. Like this was my favorite all blonde wig and she held up so nicely. I did start to receive um, some tangling in the nape area and shedding was still very light. So I didn't have a problem with the wig shedding. Just the fact that, you know, it was starting to tangle in the nape area but other than that Florence was so pretty I gotten so many compliments on this wig this was my scammer wig so <laughs> every time I wear this wig like my boyfriend thought like I was just a scammer so I kind of like that it gave me a different look and personality so definitely of course Florence had to be added on this um favorite to video of mine it's like look at this so i did wear her mostly in a middle part but it is a four by four um like a lace closure so you can part it anywhere and wear it any way you want to most of the time i did have mine's um got to be glued gelled down so um that's pretty much how I wore her. So stay tuned for the next wig on the list. Okay, so next on the list is a shiny by Altre. And I absolutely love this wig so much when it came out. I know this wig got a lot of mixed reviews. I don't know if my wig was one of the good batches because I absolutely hands down had no issues with this wig when I first got it. But once I continuously wore her, I think I wore her like four days straight and that's really surprising because I changed my wigs every single day. I do not wear the same wig unless I absolutely love the wig. And this one was definitely one of the ones that I love. So once I wore her consistently, once I started to wear her consistently, I noticed that the hair matted and tangled so bad. Like, it was like something I never experienced before from an outre wig. And, um, yeah, so I had to lay her to rest 
until I washed her maybe five months later, which was this past week or last week that just passed and I wore her for my birthday actually like it looked so good it looked brand new after I washed her so this wig has been washed twice so this is how it looks after being washed for a second time still love it absolutely still in love with a shiny so Yes, this is still one of my favorite wigs of 2017. I know she ain't get much love from a lot of different people here on YouTube, but I love this wig, so I would definitely pick me up another one. Like, I just love how it looks once it's been washed. Next is the fourth one, so stay tuned for that one. So, of course, this wig was going to be on the list absolutely love this wig hands down this is from the brown sugar collection and this is just a lace parting wig and the style name is bs213 absolutely love it oh my gosh when i tell you this wig was so bomb like i wore this wig maybe three days in a row and then more consistently during you know when I was off or when I was going out so I wore this wig I put this wig through the ringer the only downfall to the wig here's the tea on this wig it mats and it tangles badly like um it's not something that is a downfall because I absolutely I absolutely love the sleek look but you know, that's the tea. It tangles and it mats because it's super long. This wig has been washed, but I do want to go in and flat iron this here on low heat just because, you know, it's like really thick. Like this is a yakky texture wig and y'all know I live for me some yakky texture here. But with this one, I do want to minimize the tangling and I feel like if I straightened her out just a little bit that um, it would minimize the tangling and the matting. But um, other than that, this is gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. See, I don't want to change the texture too much so I'm going to, you know, flat iron it on low heat. But definitely a bomb, sleek, straight look. So stay tuned for the last wig of this video right here. Okay, last but definitely not least, this is Xena from Bobby Vaughn. Of course, I was going to add this wig to this list. Absolutely love Xenon. This is in the color number one B. And of course, I've been searching for another color, but it's all sold out everywhere. Like this wig is nowhere to be found, just like Lina. Those were the two popular Bobby Boss wigs. And um can't find it nowhere right now but when it comes back in stock definitely gonna snatch me up another one and love 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 Xena she didn't give me too many problems with shedding the same problems that I had with Lina is the same problems I had with Xena where it was like puffy towards the ends so all I did was um wash the wig and pretty much it bounced back but I do want to go in and flat iron the ends out just a little bit and you know, just to straighten her out just a little bit. But yes, Xena still is holding up. This is one of my favorite short blunt cut wigs, like to date right now. Absolutely love Xena. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the update on all the wigs I have shown you. Hopefully, you guys want to see part two. Thumbs up this video if you want to see part two, or you can leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this video. I'll definitely do a part two if you're interested in seeing it. Um, comment, like, share this video. Like, let me get some exposure out here. Um, I know I'm not the best YouTuber out here, but I absolutely love doing this. This is like one of my favorite hobbies to do. So yeah, just support me. And, um, I thank you so much for all the love that I'm getting. Even still like to this moment right now, like it's not overshadowed by anything. I love you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, click that bell to be notified every time I upload and I'll talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye, you guys.